Welcome everyone to Ruazu. Well, I, I screwed the intro up 10 times now, I guess. Uh, we, we are now in this uh, wonderful franchise project and I decided to go for a full Europe thing and I called it Ruazu. I'm gonna explain in a bit, but um, while we are starting, this video hopefully is also going to help you guys out in getting started in the franchise mode because I have tested quite a bit recently in what I want to do and uh, what should be be done and what I don't want to do at all and uh, there are kind of uh, a lot of things that you guys definitely want to stick to as a little advice um, because it, it makes the whole thing a lot more easy for you to to get started so there were a bunch of, of, of yeah basic mistakes I made uh, at the very beginning of Planet Zoo um, not only in the beta but also again when uh, the full game was launched and we had uh, fortunately thanks to Frontier we had early access and uh, yeah that was that was me testing a few things then uh, in challenge mode actually because um, yeah franchise mode wasn't that uh, good because not that many people were playing so first off um, let me just quickly introduce you to this project and this is going to be um, a, a German located Ruhrgebiet oriented zoo I'm going to explain later in this episode why because when we are waiting for some time I have more free time to explain this if you're interested stick with me uh, we're going to talk about why I chose this setting now we talk about one thing in particular and this is power and water treatment so as you can see power is given by the entrance and this is one of the things I totally forgot most of the times that there is power given by the entrance so in this area you don't need power at the beginning and that saves us money that means you want to build your facilities in this area over here that makes a whole bunch of sense uh, because then you will be able to uh, save some money for the generator and also some failure potential. However, water is something that is not in here. That means you might want to look into animals or into some stuff that potentially does not need water at the very beginning. Well, we're going to talk about this if we have the chance to get some interesting animals that maybe don't need water. So, now first off, we need to decide onto which side we are want to have our facilities. I want to start to the left-hand side and I want to keep uh, the radius uh, shown at the beginning to see how far I can go. So, it might be just over here as a little hint. Uh, I highly recommend to take some... Uh, kind of uh, paint material I use the I use the terrain paint I'm going to just follow this line over here just to give me an idea okay this is basically until where we can build it uh, just for me as a, as a little note over here because the reason is I want to bring it as far as possible to the right hand side to connect potentially two exhibits um, to one so maybe we can have an exhibit here to the left hand side and one to the right hand side this saves us some space at the very beginning we can totally get rid of this exhibit later on but for the beginning I definitely want to make sure also if you delete these trees over here not a good idea because as you can see you will be punished for this so try to maintain them as much as possible uh, redo and undo doesn't do much about this though so highly recommend to not do this I just showed it to you so we start off with the ones we desperately need and I'm not going to use use these pre-made ones because also as an output of today's episode I want to give you guys uh, at least a little bit of a blueprint that is helping you to get easily started so what we need at the very beginning is first of all we need a small staff room so as I said let's try to put it as much as possible to the right hand side over here so I'm willing to put the staff room uh, somewhat like so. Um, I'm going to quickly explain you why. Because I want to make sure that this is to this side open so the guests, uh, the staff members can go in here. And on the other hand side, just to the opposite side, I'm going to put the kitchen. So now it already automatically creates the path for us. Um, but yeah, that makes the whole thing a bit more easy to access for the guys in here as well. Now, this is not all we need at the very beginning because the moment we put an animal in we definitely need the research center and this is going to be located right next to I think right left right left where do we make the connection I think I want to make the connection in the middle so I'm going to plop this down here and we also need and that's basically it already um, I, I wouldn't even put the vet down yet we will definitely need the vet later and um, potentially put this to this side um, but as we have the, this one we need the trade center because otherwise we don't get the animals and um, I think I'm gonna put the trade center just off over here yeah I guess that's it so we can make a nice looking building out of this um, the only thing we need to connect later on potentially 
if we need or not, we will see, um, would be the water uh, kind of facility thing. I forgot the name. How is it called again? Uh, the water treatment. That would be easy. Okay, anyways. So first of all, let's connect the path. And I highly recommend, I'm not sure if it's fixed or not. Um, I had some major issues with um, the pathing for the stuff in my uh beta zoo so the reason i chose to not use the grid again is mainly this so why on earth am i not able to go in the middle here here we go now it doesn't look that nice to be honest but i i better go with the not nice looking version uh, rather than having a lot of issues over here okay but now this is connected that's nice i guess and um i, f I feel like yeah, if we go in. Also, a big mistake I always made is I made the, the central line too narrow because I wanted to go into a natural looking habitat already and whatnot. Um, but you definitely want to have a good guest flow. So this is why I put this in the middle. There's one more facility I would um, highly recommend to put down. And this is the, and let me just uh, see, that's the only guest um, facility I would recommend you to put down and this is the information stand. Reason for this is uh, the people can buy the wonderful um, uh, uh, kind of, uh, how, how is it called again, for the animals. Uh, the, you, you know, they can actually buy some conservation packages or how they're even called. Uh, this brings you a lot of money. I'm not even sure if I'll put this down right now or later. Okay, let's plot this down right now. So we do have it already. Okay, so this is done. We will have the first exhibit over here, but we have no idea what kind of exhibit we want. So let's go and check what the animal trading is offering us. We have 700 conservation credits, so I don't want to spend them too much as of now. Uh, this is why I'm going to say cash listings first. Um, and uh, let's say filter only by cash listings. And we filter also by the rating. Um, is this the highest rating we have? No, there's a mandrel as the highest rating we have right now. But pretty damn bad stats. And this is everything we have? That's not too much though. Um, two point. Okay, so like the size gene. It's not that bad though. You know what we do? We just adopt this one now. Uh, Money-wise, that's okay. Also, well, age-wise, it's pretty old already. Did I click? Okay, I didn't. Okay, that's good. Um... All right, let's see. Okay, maybe we de definitely need to go in with conservation credits then next. Okay, let's see that we go, oh, let's say filter. Come on, filter again. We definitely need that first animal, you know. This is the, the most important thing is to get an animal which has uh, kind of a high rating already, but price-wise is not too high. So let's go in and say max of, well, 200, I guess, filter. So, wait, that's not the max of 200. Let's... Okay. Why isn't it filtering it? Is it now? No, it's not. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that makes no sense at all, guys. This makes no sense. Let's filter it by price. And wow. This is like the, the cheapest ostrich ever. Let's adopt it. Failed. Okay. Yeah, well, ever. That makes sense. Um, I was pretty old, though. Um, let's see what we else have in here. So 0 0.9 years. Um, a springbok. Also quite nice ratings though. Um, fertility gene zero uh, percent. Okay, that's not what we want. We don't want to have a zero percent fertility gene. Um, this one is kind of cool. Let's adopt this one. Hello, ostrich. Hello, do it. Can we have Sui, please? And then there's also the Khalid for us. Nope. Nope. Okay, I wasn't quick enough. Let's do the following. Let's open it again. And uh, let's go and check this out first. And with the prices available, that should be fine. Okay, Warthogs. The Warthogs first could be also a good one. Um, oh, wow. The Flamingo is also good. You know, anyways. Um, let's see. 100 for a male. Yes, let's do it. Success. And we need a female Warthog as well. 200 and... Uh, oh, God. 70. How about, how about you fertility-wise? Wait. Why can I not? Okay, filter. This is this is pretty dope. Let's get it. No, I didn't get it. Freaking hell. Okay, let's filter by warthog now. Common warthog. Uh, filter. There we go. Come on. Uh, it's a bit slow, I guess, because of the first day thing. Uh, let's do the fill. It doesn't really filter by warthogs, does it? No. Now we have the artwork, but we don't want to have this. Cheeks. I I said filter. 
for Warthog. Okay, let's open it again. We need a female Warthog. <laughs> oh, the egg. Okay, um, else I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to cut this quickly until we have it. And uh, you guys have fun again when I'm back. Because that's, that's boring for you to watch. All right, here we go again. We have two of them. This is uh, Fola and Yahi. We got those two. So what we want to do is a common Warthog habitat first. I mean, it's pretty easy though. Uh, and also for the area over here might be pretty fitting because it's a pretty small animal that doesn't need that much space. So um, with this in mind, we're going to create the habitat first and we want to make sure to always use the like it's a bit more expensive I know but we, we you definitely want to use the red brick first um, simply because you can bend it the way you want and uh, have no issues about the other fence I want to go with the wood locks I guess I mean to go cheap you can also go with the corrugated but you, you can see it's it's not going to bend it like the problem is the only thing that goes and has this bend option no actually Oh, the hedge has it as well. So we can actually start with the hedge. So that's great. Let's do the hedge. And I want to I wanna actually go very close to this area. So this is where people can look in. Um, so let's do... Wow. Okay. Well, no one needs that long of a piece. Uh, let's increase this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's just drag it all over here. Awesome. And... Ah, oh yeah. Why, why not? Just go and bend a bit like so. And now let's go full straight pieces. Um, yeah, maybe let's do a little bit of a corner here so we have a nicer entrance and still maintain the potential of, of kind of creating another habitat in the back because using the space to its max is always a very welcome thing. So um, let's just create another a uh, little bit of an area. Yeah, I think, okay, maybe let's go one more. And now we finish this off down here. Yes, and I also want to go a bit more bendy bent. And connect this over here. Awesome. So I'm not even sure if the hedges do work all the time. But what I definitely want to do is I want to edit this barrier over here already. And kind of create this as a glass. And lower it down to like this, I guess. Okay, cool. So that's done. And now I, I remember that it would make also sense to maybe give them a bit of a playground in terms of having some kind of terrain manipulating. I don't even know if they need water or not. I'm gonna, gonna keep it like the way it is. So now let's put in a gate to our barrier. This is going to be sitting... Uh, can I... Hmm. Like... Uh, okay, I think it's easier to put it here. All right, good. Now let's get in with the staff pathing. Staffy path pathing. Well... There we go. Connect. Awesome. So this is done. Uh, now we have the animals. Um, we have the habitat, at least a little bit of it. Um, and we have everything we need. Now it's time for our staff members and also for the uh, entrance prizes and stuff. So first things we are going to do is we change our entrance prize to... No, actually I want to go to 5 and... Uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, let's keep it to 5 and four. I believe that's the minimum that works. Anyways, okay. So we have the first animal that we want to have in our zoo and we have everything as an ingredient that we need. So first of all, we now need to have some staff members and this is what we get in here. There we go, staff. The menu was going somewhere, I guess. So we need one caretaker. I love that thing. Okay, one caretaker. We need also one keeper. There we go. And we need um, also a vet. Uh, and, you know, people might question why I put a vet in that early. But the moment we have the animals in, you need to send them to the research. However, what you can do is you can go and change their wages a little bit to uh, a bit less. So you don't want to pay them too much. Uh, I'm going to put this here like so. And I think we can't change this guy. Oh, well, we no, we can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, take it. Okay, cool. So that's been done. I still don't know if the work zones work or not. I had some issues with them in the past couple of days, so I'm willing to not... Ah, you know what? We, ju we just test this. Let's, let's create the first one over here. So we're going to create, first of all, a very simple one. Um, let's go and create a new work zone. And we are just calling this new work zone, obviously, the Warthog. Okay, that's been done. Easy peasy. 
breezy. Now um, this dude also works uh, in this area. Uh, can I just set you to the Warthog? Yes, and the wet as well. Uh, we, there we go, Warthog. Okay, cool. All done. And you can see I, I keep the game on pause, which is simply because I don't want to lose any money due to maintenance costs. I highly recommend this as well. Um, but now, yeah, we have two animals and this is why we definitely want to bring them in. And that is the first moment whale. Can I just select both of them? I can't. And that's weird. So let's move this in the habitat first. And we're going to do the same with you. Both are in. Great. Okay, so while we let them do the job now, we, this is the first moment where we create uh, the game to run. Okay, well, as the people do now, they run. Uh, the next thing you want to do, this is the first thing, you want to squeeze out every single bit of the persons that come into your zoo as you can. So what you want to do from the very first second, put down a whole bunch of these donation boxes, put down the blueprint education stand where you can, put it just just here so people have an idea. You can also put the ATM next to it because the ATM is the only thing um, that is very useful at the beginning because the people want to give some money. And then you can also put some benches so the people can relax a little bit. Also, I highly recommend to put down as many bins as you can because you don't want to have any kind of uh, waste inside of your habitat. So the moment the animals are in, pause the game again. Uh, this was the only second you could use to do this. Um, and in episode two, I, I, I'm very uh, happy to say I'm not going to give you advice anymore. It's just for the first episode to know how to get started. The first moment you have this, um, you go to research because, whoops, this is in here. You go to the vet research and you're gonna research death from the warthogs the very first second. And since you wanna have very happy animals from the very beginning, you're going to go in and adjust the terrain. So the cool thing is, you see, they don't need any water. So don't bother about this, even though it looks nicer or not. But at the moment, you don't need it. So don't do it. Um, we are starting with some heavy soil here in the middle. And they want to have some more short grass. So we're giving them some more short grass in here. Why not? All right. Our animals are freaking happy about this. Looks <laughs> very easy to me. Like the most bare bone uh, looking habitat ever. And they want to have Africa, grassland and tropical plants. Let's do so. So we go and filter by exactly this. Um, a tropical and a grassland continent Africa, correct? Yes. Now you can use everything in here what you want. You can you can just put down some reed if you think it's looking nice. I feel I feel like this is actually reed always looks nice. It's so simple. It's one of the most simple things to make things look good. Um, I also highly recommend to wow. All right, do not use those big trees. Um, use those trees also to your advantage to cover up some stuff already. So these animals tend to also have some stress when all the people are standing here in front. So I always try to use the stuff that we have available. I love this tree, by the way, uh, to to make sure that they... Okay, this just kind of filled in all the stuff already. Uh, I didn't even want to have so much. No, never mind. Let's put more of those down. They seem to be still fairly happy with it. I don't want to put down too much. Foliage is pretty expensive as well, but... Um, to just give the overall habitat a nicer look. I think this is fairly okay. So we've done this. Um, before we continue, let's give them a little bit of a shelter. Actually, we can continue. The animals should be fine. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool. We don't have any of the enrichment items yet for them, do we? Let's see, species, common ostrich, where are you? CCC, it's so many species by now. No, we don't, but what we can obviously do, because they need uh, a food bowl, this is definitely something they need, because I don't want to have my people throw it onto the ground. They need some water, we give them over here, and we just give them another water stuff. Oh, or let's put that in the middle. They get their forage box and stuff later. Okay, um, let's put the bedding in the back here. All right, so. Uh, because while this is working, you can see the people are already getting into your zoo. This is this is exactly what you want to have. So before we start and, and do this easy starting box over here, um, I am willing to just get, get this going, you know? I just want to get this going. Now, uh, let me just quickly check if the guests are already starting to complain about the prices because uh, zoo ticket price is fair, pretty small, pretty small. Okay, so far, great, yeah, that's nice. Um, 
Also, while this happens, always check if there is anything going on in the market right now uh, regarding only cash listings. Uh, I always highly recommend to do this. Filter, ah, basically there's nothing in here in terms of that. Great. So, uh, refresh list, oh, refresh list, okay, refresh list. Uh, dangerous animal escaped. Okay, so the walls. Oh wait, it just destroyed the wall. Okay, never mind. Then this barrier is not heavy enough. Okay, we shouldn't bother too much about this. This should be fixed quickly. It's just all right. We do not have a mechanic, right? Can I just quickly fix this by clicking on it? Edit barrier. Can I just delete this piece and rebuild it? Yes, I can. Awesome. Now let's just rebuild the whole thing. And give it a bit more of a strong material, which, you know what, I want to, the red brick is nice. Okay, I want it to go too cheap here, and that's what's happening. Uh, it's on, It's already going to be, oh my god, uh, here we go. Uh, it's already going to be shot, so don't worry too much about it. Pew! Come on, do it. Pew! Damn, we have our dinner. Okay, I didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, it's, hell, okay. You, um, sorry? Do we, okay. This is a bit interesting because actually, well, I, the, the, the one thing is, it's, let's just unbox this animal. Okay, is it because they don't have any enrichment or whatnot? Because the, the, I, I really don't get since when they are so strong to like maybe it was just a little bit of a bug because it has been uh, something else before let's just quickly see if they're going to destroy this again I mean that would be a bit ridiculous because that's like a fully fledged stone wall now I get it with the hedge though but where's that other one now um oh, you know what I need that I just do it vet please okay how about you, social-wise? Enrichment, social... Yeah, yeah, okay, you, you get your mate now. So, can you please bring that over? Do I need to give them a path over there now? Or what is the caretaker doing? Can you just go here? What are you doing? Are you... Did you quit? Hello? Mate? Wait, wait. Where are you going? What are you doing? Uh... Okay, that was interesting. Okay, never mind. It's going to bring it back. All right. So what I forgot, obviously, I put, uh, I didn't put the education stuff in. Here we go. Vet research is complete. Awesome. You can still go on, but I need, I needed to have the research. So hopefully now, I have already some of the enrichment items to make my animals more. I had the common ostrich. Wait a second. God, my God, my God. Okay, I I did it wrong. So they. Okay, well, whatever. They they could couldn't get any any food though. So let's plop this in. I mean, water wise, it was okay at least. But well, now uh, let's give them also this first enrichment item, which is yeah, this little food enrichment item in the middle. All right, let's keep them doing the research. It's rolling down here. You can get it though. Okay, I wanted to give them a little bit of a building here where they can live in, and let's let's just keep that fairly simple. I don't want I don't want to spend too much time on on building them uh, their habitat. I mean, we we still do not have that many pieces anyway. So, uh, what about breeze block? Yeah, yeah. Let's use this one. Let's keep it again, as I said, fairly small. How does this look? Oh, it doesn't look too nice, so I don't want to do this. And we're gonna build this like so. I hope they can use it. I definitely have to check if they can use it. So that's how I want to build the base. And let's go and give it a fairly simple roofing. Oh, maybe, we, maybe we can create something with it here. Let me just check if... Yeah, why not? I think this doesn't look too bad though. If we continue like so, uh, give it those. Flat. Wait, we have even flatter roofs. Let's do it with those. Okay, so this is the flattest corner piece we have, right? Yeah, all right, that's cool. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. Let's copy that over to the other side. Okay, that looks that looks fairly okay to me. Now the only question is, can they go there? Oh, you're just looking towards the wall again as if you would want to destroy it. I don't like that, mate. Can you just go somewhere else? Okay, let's see. Uh, shelter. Is that okay for you? 
Is that okay for you? Can you deal with it? 100%. I like it. That looks <laughs> fairly simple to me. Uh, let me just check a few more things. I just... No, well, let's give it at least a bit of a wall piece because that kind of... Uh, yeah, I mean, come on. We, we should be nice enough to give them at least some kind of closed-off roofing here. That looks, otherwise, that looks pretty stupid. Okay, that's done. I also want to give it at least a bit of a detail. It looks, otherwise, it looks so dull. I want to give this a bit of a detail. Not too much. Nothing nothing too crazy. It's it's franchise mode. I know it. But I, I just can't, I cannot not build anything, you know? Uh, okay. Right. This is done. Let's copy it over. Awesome. And can we just give it a bit of a detail? What do we have here? Kind of a little detail here on top to just... I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But I just want to have it. Is there anything as a, as a prop? Is there anything we can... Oh yeah, let's give them this one. That looks that looks fairly nice to me anyways. I like it. I like this piece a bit. So, let's put it down. Okay, cool. Traversable area. Let's check if everything is fine for you guys. Uh, enrichment will be better as soon as this is... Uh, I need a workshop, surgery, Karen. I don't need any of those right now. Uh, I will need them later, but not now. We are still... We are making money, which is great. Uh, but now let's see. Oh, they don't have enough grass long. Let's check this. Uh, and give them a bit more grass long. Here we go. There we go. This should be fine. Everything else is fine. Enrichment is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Now, can we just see if you are able to get babies? Because I, I definitely want to have babies. Now, um, let's see. Genetics. Compare mates. And with Fola. Yes. So, size gene potential. Uh, chance of successful, of successful conception is pretty high. That's awesome. Uh, longevity potential is not that great, fertility gene is good, and immunity is also good. So it's not going to be amazing, but it's going to be good. So appeal is also good. So we have to see if they are mating up, and then yeah, we are just hoping that she's getting pregnant. So what about the, the life expectance? Oh, yeah, there's quite a bit of expectance uh, still going on. Right, we should take care of our second animal as quick as possible, guys, um, to get more people into the Park. But first of all, red research is complete. That is awesome indeed. Uh, I, I hope we can get more re uh, enrichment items now. And also, we can hopefully make the food quality already better. Yeah, here we go. Food quality improved. Habitat. Is the filter still set? Yes, we have some more enrichment items. How cool is this? Um, let's put this to the very start here. Okay, we have two enrichment items. How well are you... Are you finding this. Uh, is this great for you? Oh, this is awesome. So now they should be able to to get babies. Alrighty, so we've done this. Cool. No one is ex complaining about anything uh, major. So that's cool. Now, as promised, we are going to quickly make this blueprint, guys. It's it's going to be a absolutely freaking simple one. Um, but I promised this to you. So we're going to do this and then this is the first episode, which uh, again is totally easy Peasy, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing, you know, I, I just want to keep it simple and then we go on in the next couple of weeks and, and start creating more relevant uh, input in here and, you know, I'm not going to explain too much, but this is how you get started, want this one animal, uh, you definitely want to make sure that you don't buy too much at the beginning, you want to make sure that uh, everything that you build has a certain appeal to your guests and that you don't spend too much money on well, relatively unnecessary stuff at the very beginning, um, as for example the energy transformer, because there is a chance of it breaking down. There is a chance of uh, you know going for a wrong location, uh, which means that you guys have to relocate it all the time, which is also something very nasty, um, and all these kind of things that can happen occasionally. It's all not deal breaking, but it's it's making you. Um, it's giving you a hard hard time to to get the money flowing and this is something you really want to have at the beginning you want to have the money flowing so i know what i do yeah let's give it a bit more of depth in here i like it so let's put a roof on a plain simple one i'm just gonna go with this roof um yeah well let's let's bring in at least a little bit of a variant over here how am i going to Okay, this is going. This is this is working out right. Okay, let's plop that in, and give me the normal roof piece. It's going to be night right now, right? Okay, so I definitely have to make sure that I 
there a flat one? Give me that flat one, please. Flat roof, here we go. Wow. Alright, it does fit, but I think I want to have the concrete floor. That looks a bit more... Oh, there we go. There's already the offspring. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, that's cool. Um, so babies is even better to get money. And we have uh, researched even more. Oh, that is so great. Now, let's check if we can have anything in here right now. Still not, right? Oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, well. Filter. Can we actually filter for a max now? I want to go for a max of... Can I set this myself? Like, is the first I go for a max of 200 or whatever? A lot of common water. Oh, wait. I have the species still activated, right? Yeah. Well, let's defilter it. And then... Oh, come on. Do it. Oh, well. There we go. That was how you undo it. The thing about the Indian peafowl is pretty good. Like, it's... I'm gonna do this off screen again because it's going to be annoying to you guys as well. Um, but as I see that it's going to be turning night here, we definitely want to have some uh, lanterns. Where do we have a light? Oh, the lights are in construction. I always keep forgetting that. So we have the street lamp. Uh, let's put some of those down quickly so the people can still see something. Here we go. Another one goes here. And another one just next to that building. Okay, so this building is already <laughs> looking so simple and, and dull. Uh, we're going to quickly change that. Sorry for that. It's, well, construction. And we got a building. Uh, pillars. Where are the pillars? Pillar, pillar, lip. And we have the... I want to use this one to give it a bit... No, I want to... Yeah, well... At least give it a bit of depth. Uh, one and two. And just come. I love how this looks, guys, with the light, and it's just very nice. It's just very, very, very nice. Uh, that looks actually super realistic. I just love it. Okay, so let's put this down. Move it over to the side. Good, 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 good. I'm missing out on a pillar here. Let's just quickly do that and that. So we have a little bit. Why is it? Did I move it to the. Yeah, now it's in. That's fine. That's what she said. So, and now I think I could just squeezy beezy this in. I want to have something else. This one is kind of cool. Let's stick to it because that's also what we used with uh, the common warthog thing. So, I've, I feel like this could be a little bit of a nice treat to you. Wait, no. Uh, let's do it like so. I want to have a bit of a f kind of little awning here. An own created and I don't want to make this this whole building too expensive so yeah vet research is complete awesome just keep on doing that because as much as we can do the better it is the more happy our warthogs are going to get and uh, we are all happy about the fact that they are happy well we're all happy all happy little family okay cool I think we need to end this first episode guys because it's getting way too long but yeah as a first episode I think it deserves to be that long okay cool um before I continue uh, in the second episode I definitely want to get wait that looks not good over here let's no I want to center it yes and yes okay this is done awesome and I know what we can just wait yeah here we go and let's copy that over and give this thing also uh, place in our hearts over here just to make sure that this makes a little bit of sense. Okay, I just my positioning wasn't that well. Let's, yeah, do it that way. Okay, maybe we can even just wait for the baby to have offspring. Um, or the, the warthog and then just end this episode. Uh, that's kind of cool. I remember there was an AC. Is it already in, in, the, in the basic? Aircon, yes. So we can plop the aircon on top here to give it a bit of a realism aspect. Nothing too fancy. It's just this, this one very simple first building, you know? Nothing nothing too expensive. You have all buildings included. Um, yeah, and just gives you a good feeling because that's what you what you have at the beginning. Not Nothing more, but also nothing less. So I think that's a, kind of a good one to start with. Let's just bring this all in here. Well, let's copy that over. I'm just using this now as a little bit of a style element. Maybe I'm overusing it, but you know, it's just... I think it's worth it. 
just to have a bit of a detail in. Also, our Warthog has, hasn't got offspring quite off now, so, well. Okay, so we've, we've, we've done this. I feel like it's not that ugly, though. Just as a starting point, it's not that ugly. Let's get rid of all the filters and get some flowers set in here just to make this area look a bit more nice. And then we are going to use a big boulder to first of all start off blocking a little bit of a, this area. So, yeah. Well, 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 let's just see what we else have in here. Just some of these things. Nice. And get in with the boulders. Oh no, let's just use these ones. Nothing too big. Just like so. 20 bucks is not too expensive. I can deal with this. And I want to have like a tree, a proper one. That is just kind of rounding it off. Nice. And yeah. I feel like as, as for the beginning... That's already more than I would have even expected. So with the little warthogs in here having fun. Actually, by the way, we can maybe give them already the sprinkler um, to have fun with. One and two. Is there anything more we have already for them? The ball or something? Not really, right? Not going to be ballers right now. Uh, vet research. Uh, Don. Oh, well, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So we have, we've started with this one. Still the same notifications. Um, all right. So let's see. We are still in year one, December. Why is there no snow, though? Like 21 degrees in December, year one? Are you kidding? I mean, that's like German conditions. German conditions, guys. I tell you, German conditions. That's like Central Europe. Oh, well, it's realistic, though, but... <laughs> oh, snap. Okay, um, that's you, right? No, that's not. That's Yahi. Yahi and Fola. By the way, I need I need uh, names, guys, for from you guys in the chat. That'll be that'll be great and awesome. So, oh god, look at look at look at my little warty warthogs chilling down here down the road. That's so good. Let's take a screenshot. Let's take a screenshot. I didn't press pre did I press the button? I did. This one is like half floating. I still like it. Oh, look at, look at these. Oh, I love it. The graphics are I yeah. They are great. I can tell. Okay, so what about the money, though? I completely ignored the money for a moment. Oh, you're still making money. That is absolutely insane. Okay, while we wait for uh, the, the February, we can just check if we can get some animals. Animal, animal. We need animal. Greater flamingo. Oh, money. God, but it's not that... 20.8 years. Longevity is not great. So, uh doesn't make too much sense. Um... Hmm, fatality is not that good. But you know what? It's money, so I'm I'm purchasing this. I don't care because it's money. Also, I... I'm not even sure. Like fatality is great, so let's let's get those two. I'm getting them. Oh no. Hoo, ha, hoo. No, it's money. It's money. It's fine. I can get it. Give it to me. Give it to me. The whole idea about this. Oh my god, okay. Still, there is... Yeah, give me the Springbok as well. Great, give me the other one as well. Yeah, 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 I, I know. I don't want to even release it into the wild. But the cool thing is we have a few animals now uh, cash-wise. You always want to do this, that makes sense. Because as you can see, they are not that often in, so... And we still have a warthog, okay, but we are still creating them. So, don't care too much. Did I, did I get the Indian people? Wow, let me just get this one. Get it! Oh, it! It did work out in the end. And there's also another flamingo. Hello. Oh, come on. Just do it. Give me... I, I just can't click that flamingo. It's still a bit like... I think it will be better in the next couple of days. Let's adopt... Okay, cool. We've done this. Man, this is some good stuff for the second episode, guys. Uh, also the common ostrich. Can they live together? Oh, wait. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is the perfect... No, no, no. Go to her. Fola. There we go. Let's let's let, let's have a look. Is it already born? No, 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 no. Don't do it now. Wait a second. I want to I wanna be with you. Do it. You can get offspring now. Where's the baby? Get me the baby. Oh, yes. She's doing the move. She's doing the moonwalk. The moonwalk to the baby. Come on. B to the A to the B to the Y. Where is the baby? The baby. There we go. That was... No, where is it? There we go. Hello, lovely little baby. The moonwalk is done. Welcome. No, there's a second one. Yeah. 
Give me more, give me more. I need them. Hello. Oh, and the third one. Yes. Oh, that's, that's awesome. So what else do you have? Okay, three babies. That is freaking amazing. Okay, let's see. What do we have? We've got a guy called Talib. We have got a girl called Chippo. And we've got another guy, Kafile. Uh, let me just check the genetics. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. What about you? Genetics are also pretty okay-ish. And what about you? Also okay-ish. Appeal. Look at, look at the appeal. Is, are they, they, they having a lot more appeal than the... the Aha, uh -huh, here we go, guys. I'm up for the challenge. This is amazing. People, come in. Look at my amazing animals. Look at them. Just look at them. All right, so... Now the next bigger challenge will be... So how's the... The energy radius going. Energy, power. It's pretty close over here. So I might want to have the other exhibit over here. Because the one that I would connect to the right hand side here. I'm not even sure if this is the perfect idea. Alright, never mind. We call it a day here, guys. This was the first episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. I did certainly enjoy it a lot. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys are sticking with me. We are having more fun. The second and uh, ongoing episode will be done on stream, guys. So um, I will try to moderate it as best as possible. But this will be an ongoing series here on YouTube. So I will keep recording while the stream. So you have the full HD quality. You have the perfect sound and stuff like that. You don't have the overlay from the Steam uh, stream and stuff. But you will uh, eventually have uh, the communication with the chat so you can always jump back to twitch then and check it but for now this is the start of our franchise Ruhr Park or Ruhr Zoo and uh, yeah I'm going to style this after this uh, later on um, but yeah I promise you to talk about this real quick the main idea about this um, setting was that you know I've done so much things that are in other countries in other areas and I was like why not do something about my home, the area where I live? Well, I'm not really living in the Ruhrgebiet, but I'm living very close to it. And there is kind of a romance about the Ruhrgebiet. It's a very ugly romance, but there is a romance. And I want to bring this in here, like the very old Ruhrgebiet with all the industry and, the uh, you know... Um, there's a lot of stuff uh, going on in the Ruhrgebiet. It actually has been... Um, uh, world uh, heritage um, uh, kind of thing a few years ago so it's a very 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 great area to be and to start some stuff after and we might even have some mining stuff going on because that's also one of the biggest deals in the Ruhrgebiet uh, and I, I can't wait to bring this into action and I felt like this is a good idea to have uh, as a franchise mode so yeah we're gonna see how we turn this into action since this is real-time play I I won't spend too much time in styling it uh, but just keeping this idea in mind will make the whole series hopefully a bit better so until then have a great time and see you next time guys bye Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRandCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click the sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.